Hello everybody. Um I got this backpack here for here for drinks and snacks. Um anyway, here's the sun. The sun nuts up there. And uh right now the time is 12.04. 12.04. I have my Moto G7 play at 76%. It's uh January 14, 2021. So right now I'm just recording on my on my Moto G7 Play, hope I didn't mess it up. 100 watt solar panel right here. That's why with the wood tree people would going, going around. So yeah, here's some ice right here from the aftermath of the snow. Oh yeah, the aftermath. There now, it's a really good opportunity to start charging all this stuff right here. You know, get prepared, prepared for you know big time. And also, I got my Samsung, Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime 2017 from Metro PCS. And also, it's on ultra piracy mode. It's at 15% of power, so I'm gonna have to turn the screen button this so the other one you can see it, see it a little better. It has 15%, and uh, it's not getting no Wi-Fi because I'm a little pretty far in range from the Wi-Fi. So yeah. 15% as it's you know saying and uh, this one has 57% this one has uh, 4 out of 5 lights right now um, this one's charging uh, yeah it's a little weird on the camera but yeah this is how much uh, stuff I've got going except except these cords are not connected to anywhere but yeah this right there connected to each other as well as this right here, here's the power measurements that y'all need. This is a 100 watt solar panel. This one works really good on it. So, I'm gonna have to read it, you know, from this angle. There you go. From new, new uh, power. Anyway. So I'm right now, I'm just using three ports for right now. Not gonna use the Type C to Type C. That's for you know it's, it ha at least has like a small watts. It does not have power delivery. Um, the Type C to Type C type deal right there. Um, so three three of the USBs. This, these two USBs are standard, and then a red one is a more. This one that has, this rope right here is connected to the red, the red one. So this is how I got going on right here. This one is the micro. This one's the Type C. This one's the lightning cable. Lightning, lightning cable. Connected to here. I got everything going, going all at the same time, just like this. Charging as I have opportunity of solar panels going. So here's my shadow. Here's the other shadows over there. Shadows. It's uh getting getting twisted. So, um. So yeah, as you see here. Uh, it's of course it's on a trampoline. Um, it may be bending this way, so I'm gonna have to angle angle the solar panels this way. Have it you know turn this way a little bit to like align perfectly with the sun. But it's doing fine. It's actually gaining power, even though it's not uh, perfectly perfectly aligned with the solar panels. But yeah, this is literally what I got set up right here, and definitely better than the Virginia Tech. But this is like my own setup for you know power outage. But yeah, a little bit better. It has a better. It's a hundred watt solar panel, a whole lot better than the flexible ones that the uh, Virginia Tech was using. Especially with the you know a whole lot bigger battery though too. I mean, it also has a nice display over Virginia Tech. There's a solar battery charging station, but this one carries a whole lot more power with a better, a more effective uh, solar panel. But yeah. My own setup, you know, be all ready with the power outage. So, I just got these uh, one, two, three, four, five, five portable power banks and solar chargers that can do power pass charge. Um, also, as well as with the this power bank with the USB expansion, in case if those USBs they're not not enough, just get a power bank with the four USBs. And also, this thing has some limitations though too. It can only charge three devices um, on this thing right here with you know once you know, when it's charging because it may you know may stop you know charging 
on this, you know, power bank. But yeah, some of these uh, power banks over here has some limitations. This one has a solar panel, and I do have a 10 watt solar panel in my backpack though as well. Um, it's in here, it's a, a 10 watt for like, you know, when I go camping and all that, but I wish I can get a little bit bigger. But I can charge uh, my solar Bluetooth speaker pretty good, so. So this is what I could pretty much do during a power outage, and also I got my heating jacket on as well. Go to already heating jacket. It's a USB powered heating jacket, so yeah. Heating power heating jacket. So yeah. Got all ready. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. I don't know why. Um, phone trying to connect to Wi-Fi. Anyway, um, yeah. It's doing good. This is what I could do, even though it's charging on the solar panels. It's a lot because the watts are a little bit more powerful to charge it this way on its, you know, its own connector right here. It can charge on the car. I only have two options: one on the car and one on the solar panels. I need a much more powerful charger because the 24, uh, the 24 watt for the charging on the grid wasn't enough. So I may have to try uh, the 100 watts you know, end for that one, because it charged with a good fine uh, on the car. I just had to figure out, like, how much um, watts or DC or DC volts are going into this thing pretty good, um, or the amps, like, how much amps it can handle, DC, volts, and watts, how much watts it can go in, how much volts it can handle as, you know, well, DC volts and the amps. So that's what I need to watch out for. And that way I don't get an escalation mark or fry up the charger or burn something up. I mean, you're at risk of burning something up. I mean, this thing should have, like, an input protection, even with the solar panels, though, as well. Like, some kind of, at least, a protection on it, you know, built in. But, yeah, this is what I could do pretty fine. I hear. This, this is fine right here. I don't mind not being able to use the outlet. So, I mean, I can't use the outlet. See, watch, watch. Just to prove you all. It takes one press to use it. Does not work. So the AC will not work. I wonder if the light will work. Hold on. Uh, I can't tell. It's hard. Oh yeah, I actually can. Look at that. It, it's actually usable even though it's charging. That's that's very useful. There you go. Yeah, it was working. So yeah, the, the flashlight, it's actually usable even though it's charging, so that's good. So what all I need, if I want to set up the solar panels like on the roof, like on the roof of a building, for example, like a small like a shed um, building, I'm going to need a longer cables though, a longer, much, much longer cable, uh, connectors. Uh... <laughs> I had to think. Oh yeah, um, these to these, to have a longer, longer connection. I could do a longer, whole lot longer because I got a hundred watts. So there, there's no power loss here except maybe a few percent right here. But as long as I'm doing something like this, is you know it's fun. So yeah, I could still use the AC. It's just I'm waiting for the you know waiting for using the AC for a while until. But yeah, this is a really good, really good idea. I mean, depending what time it is, and also the sun is getting bent a little bit right here. Um, maybe a little. Also, it's on the trampoline, and also the wood. So it's on the on the trampoline. You know, I just gotta be careful not to shake it too much. But yeah, this is a, this is literally what I could do. So I don't mind. You know, I don't want to have to try to put it on the roof right now at the moment because I don't have. The longer cables for it because I need longer longer cables it's like you need uh, require extension cords for like tools if you're gonna you know take use the re weed eater that requires which we call it um, extension cords the ones that are not battery powered get yeah, ba uh, I could literally charge uh, batteries on the AC like one of those 40 volt uh, cobalt batteries from my battery push mower it's that's a maybe on that one that is gonna be a maybe on using the AC outlet um, for that um, time actually I would use it during the day actually uh, don't charge the batteries at night 
because um, then I won't be able to use it, the solar panels, except I can use it to charge on the car. But I'd rather use the solar panels because it does not cost anything except the solar panel life and as well as the battery life on this thing. That's it. Does it cost any electricity bills or as well as with, you know, using gas, you know, gas in the car to charge this thing. It costs, you know, miles to like charge, charge it on the car. So, and it costs a lot <laughs> to run the car and to charge this thing. It costs between 10 miles, um, actually depending how, how long I'm going to run the car for, though too, if I was going to charge it, uh, charge this on the car, on the running car. It would charge a whole lot better while the car is running, not when the car is moving because uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the adapter will start getting hot, the, you know, the end of it that's going into the socket. So yeah, um, none of this will not get hot, and these are the, just the, this is just the independent power right here. This is what I was looking for. And also a really good setup right here for, you know, this is and this is what I call independent power right there. Making my own power. And I never have to rely on the grid or the gas generator as much often. Uh, okay. Anyway, we do have a gas, gas truck coming by. It's a car. <laughs> it's gas oil providing comfort you can count on. So they're going by. <laughs> yep, it's uh, not going to expose any information on it. But yeah, it's a. I don't know why. It's a car company. Like one of those big, huge gas tanks. Like, you know, the back of the truck. Um, there's just one going through there, which I don't know why. Um, okay, anyways, as what I'm saying, um, that's a lot of gas, um, for the, you know, to be that going through there. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful <laughs> of, you know, you, uh, um, you do not want to hit those vehicles. Definitely not. Because it will be a big, huge explosion will happen. Anyways, this this is not an explosion. But, uh, actually, except electricity hazard because it can't stick a fork in there. This is not safe for children to use unless with adult supervision. Kids can use it only for charging stuff. I mean, it'll be a little bit more efficient to you know charge it on these things, DCs, versus the AC. Because you can still use the DC while you charge it. But yeah, um, this is not safe for children to be using this by itself. You know, by themselves, because you gotta watch and make sure they don't stick, stick a fork in the you know the outlet, which is really you know understandable when they're you know really young and then don't know about this you know thing when they're you know older, more mature. But anyways, also this is also electricity hazard though too, because there's some warnings right here. Uh, warning: electrical hazard. Um, let's see. Hold on. This solar model produces electricity when exposed to light. Cover all m models in the PV area with uh, material before making any within connections or operating the term terminal box. Oh, that's coming from all the terminal box. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, it is electricity hazard, but I mean this this also somewhat this was a more of a closed electricity. Um, hazard, but except the outlets, but it's more of a safety. But yeah, still, I'd rather not risk, you know, sticking a fork in there to find out. So yeah, for example, or any nails in there to find out if it's, you know, electricity safety <laughs> or electricity safe, you know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Also, as well, this thing is, um, yeah, I see some stuff, you know, exposed in there. Oh wait, there's something right here. Anyway, yeah, this part right here, this top right here, will um, get hot, a little warm for charging stuff on the AC. Uh, we'll, we'll get a little warm, but has not overloaded yet. Actually, I did try to use it on the vacuum cleaner, and it actually, it, you know, didn't want to power it at all. It actually did power the motor for about a few seconds. Not actually running it, but it did, I hear the motor kind of crank a little bit on the vacuum cleaner. But, it, yeah, this thing completely shut off because to protect protect the battery itself so vacuum cleaner will not work on it I, I can tell you that right now any as long as the rechargeable 
Actually, rechargeable battery uh, vacuum cleaner may work on this thing. I'm just saying might, but with the cord alone, that's you know need, need to be powered by the grid. Those vacuum cleaners will not work. <laughs> Unless if you get like a smaller one, then you know it, it doesn't pull a whole lot of load on this thing. Um, but yeah, um, uh, rechargeable vacuum cleaners might work. I may say it might, because I never actually had one of my own. You know, battery powered vacuum cleaner. Actually, seen them, seen them over at Walmart though before. Yeah, vac battery powered vacuum cleaners will work because you can actually charge the battery, battery on the vacuum, battery powered vacuum cleaner. Uh, depending on what size of battery it needs to be charged, like how much watt hours it needs to charge it, like amps. You know, depending on the charger though too. If you're connected to charger to like charge a vacuum cleaner. But yeah, this one can actually be used for the battery push mower that only uses 80 watt, uh, 40 volts. I mean. 40 volts, uh, the size, power of the thing. Also, depending how much watt hours it needs in the battery, though, too. And how long it takes to charge, but it'll be somewhat, somewhat a good idea to charge it on the 40 volts, the battery on the push mower. Or maybe try the 80 volts. Uh, maybe. I'm just saying maybe on the 80 volt little situation. For the 80 volts, is uh, for the weed eater. It's a cobalt bullet of battery that you get it from Lowe's. You get all those, you know, batteries from Lowe's. But what I'm planning on is maybe uh, in the future when I get a job, I may get more of those 40 volt batteries. I may get uh, two more, two more of those 40 volt batteries, maybe, for the battery push more. But it's just maybe. That way I have more, you know, more run time on, more, you know, more, uh, more uh, battery lives, you know, on the, uh, on the battery push more. And also if I'm going to get more batteries, I'm going to, I need uh, another charger for it. Two chargers. Um, not only just one, but two to be able to charge two different batteries at the same time. So I just need two, two of the 40 volt chargers to charge four batteries. So that way I have more, you know, charging capacity to charge the 40 volt batteries. Also, if I'm going to need a more, if I'm going to get more batteries to charge the 40 volt batteries, I'm going to need a bigger portable power station in the future. But that's only when I get a job. So, I don't have a job right now at this time. So, in the future, I'll be getting a driver's license, get, go in the DV, take a test, get a driver's license first. Before I even drive a car operating a machinery uh, vehicle that moves uh, faster than 80 miles per hour, car that, you know, at least 80 miles per hour. Uh, actually, it can go only go 70 or 75, but. 80 miles per hour as computers consider speeding at this, you know, location well, on the freeways, but yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And let's see if you're in a police car, that'll be a different story if, you know, if you're, like, in a police car that can, uh, operate in a certain district so, and state locations. That, unless they have to have their lights on, not just randomly speed and then have no lights on. At least their lights on, but also with the sirens on, too. If you're gonna go, you know, really, you know, high, high speed, faster than, you know, the traffic, though, too. I mean, if they're trying to catch somebody, I'd rather do it, you know, more safely, as safely as possible. And I hurt my hand hitting on the trampoline metal. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, aside from the cops and the laws of me driving, uh, so yeah, this one's doing pretty good. I mean, I could charge people's stuff, I have more USB expansions. So. Four USBs, if you know this is not enough, um, why not get this power bank and then have four USBs as well with the other ones that can do a power pass charge. But some of them will have some limits. I mean, somewhere in there. I mean, this will definitely have a limit um, of charging. I think this one, this uh, socket can do two, uh, 10 amps of uh, what 12 volts. Um, don't know what to charge with these things yet at the moment. I can't power the lights on this thing, on this ports, but. Uh, I could ch probably charge a drone right there, or something else. Um, I don't have a drone, like one of those uh, fancy drones that you uh, take photos and videos and stuff like that. But yeah, that would be a pretty cool device just to fly around. I'm not going to take any videos or photos, unless if I go to a nice place to do it. I'd like to go to a nice place to do it where there's no restrictions of flying a drone. But yeah, um... A drone, that would be pretty cool to test on it. As well with the Type-C that's down there. I could only charge a phone, phone uh, Type-C to Type-C. Only a phone down there that doesn't 
draw a whole lot of power. So yeah, I cannot charge a laptop from there because it will just charge slow. Also, I don't, I don't, I don't have a laptop that will do Type C and Type C A charging, so I have to charge my laptops from here. That's all I can do. So yeah, and also I can't charge this with the Type C because it does not have power delivery. So yeah, it has maybe less than 30 watts of Type C output. So yeah, I think somewhere around 30, or if not half, than the 60 watts of Type C power delivery. So yeah, which is okay. I mean, as long as I can do this, I'm good. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> but anyways, and also I'm going to need 